Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're in or interested in pig farming, understanding pig health is key. Today, we're talking about pig diseases and parasites, from common illnesses to parasites that can affect growth and productivity. I'll walk you through the signs to watch out for and how to prevent and treat these issues. Let's dive in and keep your pigs healthy. Sick pigs generally have the following signs. Lack of interest in food or water. Rapid breathing, indicating fever. Reddish skin in white pigs. Diarrhea, sometimes bloody. Droopy ears. Dull eyes. Lackluster skin and hair. Their tail may become limp. And they might isolate themselves from the group. Parasitic diseases. Parasites are divided into external and internal parasites. Internal parasites, worms. Worms are one of the most serious threats to pig keeping. There are more than 30 types affecting the intestines of pigs. The most important two are the intestinal roundworm and the tapeworm. Roundworm. Roundworms live in the gut and take food from the pig. The pig can therefore become thin. Giant intestinal roundworms, Ascaris lumbricoides, are common around the world, especially in warm, moist climates. These worms are large, about the size of a pencil. The infection begins with the ingestion of eggs which are usually present in contaminated soil, or on fruits and vegetables grown in infected soil. Symptoms Anorexia in advanced stages Anemia loss of condition Weight loss in later stages when the worms die suddenly after treatment, they can block the gut and cause sudden death. Prevention Control with medicine in the food is useful and provide clean and dry pens. Rotational grazing and periodic disinfection of pastures. Separation of young ones from adults. Washing sows before farrowing. Periodic deworming. Herbal treatment, herbs such as morina are considered to be antihelmintic, able to kill intestinal worms. Tapeworm. Tapeworms are long, flat parasites found worldwide. They lack a digestive system and absorb nutrients, especially folic acid and vitamin B12, through their skin. This can lead to verminous intoxication from harmful waste products. Tapeworms can roll into a ball, often felt on the right side of the abdomen. Pork measles, caused by tapeworms in pig muscles, usually doesn't affect pigs but can cause pain and mobility issues. If people consume undercooked pork with these worms, they can become seriously ill. Symptoms Anorexia in advanced stages Anemia loss of condition Weight loss in later stages When the worms die suddenly after treatment, they can block the gut and cause sudden death. Prevention Control with medicine in the food is useful and provide clean and dry pens. Rotational grazing and periodic disinfection of pastures. Separation of young ones from adults. Washing sows before farrowing. Periodic deworming. Herbal treatment, herbs such as morina are considered to be antihelmintic, able to kill intestinal worms. Mange. It is caused by small parasites called mites that live in the skin. They provoke severe itching and irritation. Nowadays sarcoptic mange in pigs has been reported in all major swine-producing countries and is prevalent in Brazilian swine herds. Lesions, or scabs, on the animals may start on any part of the body, but usually appear first on the head, around the eyes, nose, or ears. Lesions may progress to hyperkeratosis and exfoliation of epidermal debris. Symptoms The pig becomes itchy and scratches and rubs against the walls of the sty and other objects with the skin between the legs, around the eyes, ears, and neck being principally affected. The coat looks dull, and there are bare patches, heavy crusts, and lines on the body that look like ribs. Restlessness and itching which can be very severe. Red pimples on skin, which turn into crusts and scabs. Later the skin looks very rough, is thickened and covered with flake scratching. Skin may show red spots or bite wounds. Thick skin and rough hair coat. Anemia in severe cases especially in piglets. Death in severe cases. Prevention. Wash the sow before farrowing at least twice at a one-week interval. 
boars should be washed at least four times a year. Treat gills upon entering the farm and before serving. Wash all pigs at the beginning of fattening if mange is already a problem. Maintain proper animal nutrition and health program to reduce severity and spread of mange. Recommended control products are ivermectin, 1% injectable, or malathion, 1% spray. General cleanliness. Lice. These are blood suckers that also cause irritation of the skin. The hog louse is the largest louse species, 6, 4 mm, commonly associated with domestic animals. It is found most frequently in the folds of skin behind the ears and between the legs. The blood-sucking activity of hog lice results in much irritation and discomfort to swine. Symptoms Itching Skin may show red spots or bite wounds. Thick skin and rough hair coat. Anemia in severe cases especially in piglets. Prevention General cleanliness Treat piglets before putting them in fattening house. Fatteners don't need to be treated. Treat gilts before first service. Treat boars twice a year. Treat new stock on arrival and seven days later. Piglets below three weeks should not be treated. Myasis. Disease caused by flies, which lay eggs in the wounds. The eggs hatch into larvae which live and feed on the flesh and develop into pupate, and fall off when they mature, creating more wounds. Symptoms. Infected wounds look very wet and dirty and the edges can be covered with a gray mass which are the eggs of flies. Later on, larvae can be seen as screw-shaped pinkish worms crawling through the wound. The pigs show annoyance and try to find a shabby place. Death may occur. Prevention and treatment. Clean the wound daily with water and disinfectant then apply insecticide on wound to cover edges too. Best working insecticides are the long-acting ones e.g. diacinon or sapona. Good mange control program to prevent wound smooth walls and floors. Do not use sharp objects. Avoid overcrowding to reduce fighting. Tail docking, ears notching, and castration should be handled properly and the umbilical cord disinfected. That's it for today's vlog on pig diseases and parasites. Pig face I hope it helps you keep your pigs healthy. Remember, early detection and proper care are key. If you learn something new, like and subscribe for more tips. Drop a comment if you have questions or want to share your experiences. Stay tuned, and keep your pigs happy and healthy.